Holy shit. 50,000, guys. To be honest, I never thought that this day would come. And definitely not, definitely not that soon. It's just crazy. It's just fucking crazy, man. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that went kind of fast. Hello to all of the new faces watching these videos right now. Over the last 30 days, I think more than 40,000 new people subscribed to this channel. So yeah, a lot of new faces here. And also I think a lot of people from India. Hello to all of the Indian homies out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just super, super grateful for all the exposure I got during the last couple of weeks. Social media detox blew up. Also my year 2020 video received a lot of great feedback. I've been getting comments, I've been getting messages. I've been getting emails actually people reaching out to me and telling me that they felt inspired and motivated by my videos Yeah, it's just super humbling. I'm just feeling really happy about that right now So the topic for today is something that's been constantly going through my mind for the past five years I think ever since I was a teenager I've been thinking about this and it determines every single decision I take to this day and that thing is passion today I want to focus on how to find your passion. I want to share my experiences that I learned over the past years and I want to give you some actionable steps in order for you to also find your passion. So let's go. Passion. I always dreamt about finding it. Discovering that one thing which gets me up in the morning deeply makes me tick and gives me a sense of purpose in my life. I was looking for this bright and undying source of energy inside myself, which would enable me to overcome any kind of obstacles and achieve things that seemed out of my reach. But little did I know that it would take me many years of exploration and reams of failures and sacrifices in order to find it. All right, so where should we start? In order to find it, you first have to understand what passion actually means. Well, that is a big question and you can find an endless amount of definitions for passion if you search on the internet. It seems like everyone has a different understanding of it, but I see it this way. Passion is a very strong feeling about something or a strong belief in something. There is a difference between a strong interest and an actual passion. You're only passionate about something if you care so much about it that you're willing to suffer for it. For example, I have a strong interest in riding motorbikes, but I don't have the determination to push myself through broken bones and hospital visits in order to to become better at it. But on the other side, I would do almost anything to keep creating videos, because I am deeply passionate about it. I refused to go to university, worked countless hours into the night, invested all of my savings into gear and abandoned several relationships in order to follow my passion for filmmaking. When you have a passion for something, you love it even when you hate it. But passion is an emotion which requires action. And without action, passion won't bring you any results. It is the fuel for the fire that's burning inside of you. And it can turn a small spark into some of the greatest results in life. The reason why I create this video and why I want you to find your passion and also to pursue them is because it can have absolutely amazing benefits on your life that you can't accomplish with anything else. So what are the benefits? If you choose to follow your passion, you'll be energized and motivated every day you get up and your work won't feel like work anymore. Your skills will drastically improve and you'll become more productive and creative because you actually love the work you do. You'll be deeply fulfilled because you feel like you make a difference. You'll be open-minded towards new things as you don't only focus on making money and spending it. You'll become more and more self-confident because you live up to your own beliefs instead of putting on a mask in order to be liked by others. This helps you overcome your fears and makes you more attractive and interesting to other people. And you'll have a strong connection to other people who also follow their passion, which is a base for incredible relationships. 
these are just some of the many benefits that will come into your life if you choose to follow your passion. And I'm 100% honest here, I see each of them every single day in my life. Finding my passion actually changed everything for me and I can say that all of these benefits are 100% true. Let's now dive into the different steps on how you can find your passion as well. So there's the wrong assumption that we only have a few years during our teenage years to actually figure out what we want to do for the rest of our lives. There is so much pressure from our peers and from society in general that causes a lot of anxiety and stress, especially at such a young age. I guess everybody knows that when you're on a family celebration and a relative comes up to you and asks you, what are you going to do for the next couple of years? Like, what are your plans? And you're just sitting there like, Good question. <laughs> I myself still remember very vividly when I was 16 years old and I just started to ask myself all of these different questions over and over again. Like, what is my passion? What is my purpose? What do I want to do with my life? And it felt like I was the only guy who had such a strong need to figure out these questions at my age. I tried to talk to all kinds of different friends to just see if they feel the same, but nobody could really connect with these kind of thoughts. And I just felt like there was something wrong with me. I dreamt about discovering my passion and I was scared that I wouldn't find it before it would be too late. You could say that I was scared to jump onto the wrong train which takes me to the wrong future. One decision that would determine the rest of my life and no opportunity to leave that train again. As time progressed, I saw how everyone else around me also had the same fears. I mean, who of us knew exactly what it is we want to do when we left education? Well, I sure as hell didn't know, and most of the others didn't know it either. And this is the reason why almost everybody sticks to the safe route, just uh, starting some studies that you already know you're not going to be interested in, or getting a job just because it pays the bills, but you already know that you're not going to like it. Everybody just tries to go on this safe way to security instead of actually trying something new, and that limits you because you don't even have the option to try out all the different things before choosing one. That is the reason why so many people are unhappy with their jobs, and that is also the reason why you have to let go of this fear. You don't only have a few years to find and pursue your passions. This is a journey which can often take a whole lifetime and you shouldn't limit yourself by the opinions of other people. So stop giving a fuck about those opinions, okay? <laughs> Dopamine is the chemical which is being released in your brain whenever you achieve something or feel pleasure. In the past, we had to create something in order to feel rewarded and release dopamine. But in today's world, we have instant access to dopamine by consuming social media, video games, junk food, porn and drugs. While back then you had to build a shed, make pottery or write a book in order to feel rewarded, nowadays we just have to scroll through social media, level up in video games or watch porn to get the same feeling. Feeling. So ultimately, the things we do on a daily basis shifted more and more from creation to consumption. Here's the funny thing, if you get the majority of your dopamine from consumption, it's called addiction. But if you get the majority of your dopamine from creation, it's actually called passion. So basically, passion is just a good form of addiction and I can 100% confirm this. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? In order to make space for creation, you have to lower your consumption. A couple of years ago, I was also watching YouTube videos non-stop. Many of them about self-development, in order to find answers to my questions I had at that time. But the thing is that I never really found any answers by watching these videos, because I was only consuming instead of creating and taking action. I slowly had to learn to put my phone away in order to be present and get my dopamine from other sources.
A good start to lower your consumption is by detoxing from some of these toxic dopamine sources. Quit social media, Netflix, video games, junk foods or porn for 30 days to see what it's like. I myself quit social media for 30 days, actually made a video about it, I'm sure you've already seen it. But yeah, I just took so much away from these 30 days. Obviously it's a bit extreme in the beginning and it's going to be difficult in the first couple of days, but as soon as you get used to it, you will really, really see the benefits that you can take away from it. It's just a good way to kind of wake up from this excessive consumption and to kind of break that balance habit. And I've also been playing with the thoughts of actually doing a whole dopamine detox, just quitting all of these things at once uh, for a specific time and create a video about it to just see how far I can take this and how many of my bad habits I can break. So let me know in the comments if you would be interested in that kind of video and also subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss out on that. The next step is to expose yourself to different forms of creation. Trying new things is the only option because you're not going to find your passion by guessing. One thing which always helped me understand this better was to compare it to food, probably because I love to eat food. <laughs> so imagine you're standing in front of a buffet with all kinds of food. There are steaks, vegetables, antipasti, fish, prawns, sushi, oysters, bread, pasta, pizza, fruits, cheese, chocolate, chicken Yo, wings. bro! Dude, they know what a buffet looks like, alright? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Man! Yeah, I guess they know what a buffet looks like. Dude, your videos suck. Okay, so just imagine you had this huge buffet and all of these different things to choose from. If you only tried one of these things, you would never know what any of the others tasted like. Wouldn't that be freaking awful? But that's exactly what most of us do when it comes to our own jobs or, in other words, our source of creation. There are so many different things to do out there. So many hobbies, jobs and opportunities to try out. So go ahead and taste those different types of food. I mean, if you taste, for example, prawns for the first time and you think... Then maybe seafood isn't your thing and maybe you should look more towards the chicken wing section. I can definitely recommend the chicken wing section. <laughs> And on the other side, if you, for example, paint a picture and you just think, okay, this wasn't really exciting, fun or interesting at all, then maybe arts aren't your thing. So try something else. What I'm trying to say is that you have to try out a lot of different hobbies in order to see which of those could potentially turn into a passion. And if things don't seem to spark your interest, just look in a different direction, adjust your filters and just try something else. Get yourself a pen and paper and write down different hobbies or jobs that you always wanted to try. Even if an activity only slightly sparks your interest, write it down on your list. If nothing comes to your mind, just google list of hobbies and look through Wikipedia. I'm sure that at least 10 of them will be interesting to you. Just do me a favor and please don't take vacation or sunbathing, okay? <laughs> Pick activities that challenge you and also give you an opportunity to improve and then try each of these activities one by one. Don't do too many at the same time and give each of them a chance because a lot of times in the beginning you feel like you suck. I myself also sucked at filmmaking in the beginning. I created awful videos when I was younger. Dude, your videos suck. Yeah, you just have to build up these skills and with a lot of activities it takes some time to build up these skills. So give yourself that time. Trying out new things until you finally find something that could turn into a passion is a long journey. But with every new activity or job you try, you'll feel that you get closer to what you're looking for. Okay, so you might think, how on earth should I have enough time to try out that many things? And for me, time is never an excuse because time is always about setting priorities and if you want to find your passion, you have to make it a priority right from the start. 
Lowering your social media use will already give you several hours per day which you can use to do something else. If you just graduated, I highly recommend to take a year off instead of starting a random bachelor degree. During these 12 months, you don't have to think about meeting the expectations of anybody else, which gives you an incomparable mental freedom. Also, because you're constantly going to new places, experiencing new cultures and meeting new people, you're kind of forced to get out of your comfort zone and try new things. I myself also traveled for one year after graduating and I believe that it was one of the best decisions of my life. It just completely changed me as a person and helped me a lot to discover what I actually like to do in my life. I made a whole video about the benefits of solo traveling, so feel free to check that out here. If you already have a job, then just determine the time after work to do new things and just use the time on your weekends to try out new stuff instead of just doing the things you always do. You can also take a long vacation from your job in order to try new things or if you already have enough savings for the next one or two years and you don't like your job then quit it. I mean it's a hard decision to make but it definitely makes sense if you don't like your job and you can just take a break from this normal work life in order to try new things. I'm definitely not saying that finding your passion is easy. You'll have to get uncomfortable and also take some risks every now and then because if you actually want to change something about your life, you have to take action. Watching hundreds of self-development videos is not going to change anything. You have to get up and do something. I constantly pushed myself to try new things throughout the last five years. I traveled for 12 months on my own, worked as a waiter in an Australian restaurant, learned how to peel cinnamon trees with farmers in Indonesia, translated books for my couchsurfing host, helped renovating a house, went fishing with locals and tried all sorts of other things. And one of those things was photography. I started to take photos with my GoPro 4, which I got as a present for my graduation and six months later I picked up my first DSLR. I was instantly amazed by photography and started to do it more and more until I became pretty good at it and took some nice landscape photos. But instead of sticking to landscape photos, I didn't stop trying there. I tried every type of photography that I could imagine. Besides landscapes, I tried portrait, product, sports, automotive and lifestyle photography. After that, I tried graphic design, motion design, marketing strategy and eventually filmmaking. And with all the different types of filmmaking that I've tried, I don't even have to start. I used my free time and weekends to try new things, worked in several internships to see what it's like, did a social media detox to consume less, and one year ago, I actually quit my job in order to further pursue my passion. See, I wasn't born with a camera in my hands. It took me years to discover what things I am passionate about and, to be honest, I'm still searching for it today. It is a search which is probably never going to end and your passions will change from time to time. But I can say that the journey is freaking exciting and I would totally regret it if I never tried any of these things. This mindset of curiosity, constantly learning new things and testing the different options before deciding on one changes everything. And I hope that more of you guys out there take the courage to build the life you actually want to live. I hope you enjoyed this video to this point, but before you just skip away from this video or go to the next YouTube recommendation, I actually want you to take action right now. So let's sum up the different steps. Stop being afraid of all the different expectations from other people. Do a social media detox for 30 days in order to consume less and create more. Write down all of the activities that spark your interest and try them one by one. Also, adjust your direction with every new experience you make. And last but not least, make time for all of these new activities and push yourself to seek discomfort whenever possible. So yeah, I hope that all of these steps help you to find your passion as well. Actually making a living from your passion is a whole different topic. So if you want me to make a video about that as well, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to do that. Yeah, that's it for today. Um, I hope I could help you with this video and I wish all of you a great day. See you.